last angry geek. Luke, you must go to the internet. There you will find Master Owen, the highbrow reviewer. He will teach you in the ways of the plot. Internet? Highbrow reviewer? There you'll find the means to defeat Darth Snow, the douchebag who defeated me. I, I can't do that. I, I can't kill my best friend. That's impossible. Luke, nothing's impossible. You simply have to swallow your humanity, leave your body, and shove a molten laser sword down your best friend's esophagus. It's the only civilized way. M maybe there's another way. Maybe there's still some good in him. He is more corporate now than man, twisted and evil, while you're still pure and innocent. I can't do it. Isn't there anyone else? I'm surprised Film Brain wasn't interested. Well... <coughs> Will you calm down? I, I'm not trying to scare you. I want to inspire you to defeat the dots. Stop yelling, you British sissy boy. Oh, forget it. He was a bell. Find Master Owen, listen closely, and guard your emotions. For they could be made to serve the executor. Executor, we. Whoa! What happened to you? You look like a melted candle! My battle with the critics has left me scarred. The death bomb is nearly complete. is finished, my friends. Remain on the command ship and await my further orders. With our vast armada, nothing can defeat us now. What of the critics and the snob? It is of no concern. Soon the critics will be crushed and the snob is now one of us. This goes for a celebration. Throw a big Hollywood coke party. Funnel all that money that we should have been giving to those screenwriters. Excellent! We'll need a reliable source of entertainment. I'll put an ad on Craigslist. With all due respect, Executor, I don't feel safe throwing a party while the critic still lives. Nonsense! You heard the man! We're invincible! It's party time! I don't want a party! Well, we're going to do a party! We never do anything I want! Hey! Don't make me separate you two. Oh, hi. Um... Luke, right? Hey, Owen Citizen. Um, this is gonna sound weird, but I'm in space, and this ghostly apparition just came to me and said that you should be a mentor, and I- Wait, wait. You want me to be a mentor? You want me to lord over you my intellectual prowess and always be right in your eyes? I knew this day would come. One moment. Hi there. Wait. How did you do that? Nothing can stop me from my true calling of being a mentor. Yeah, but how did you get here? Jump cut! Well, technically, jump cut combined with parallel action. It's very, very Stephen Scharf. I'll give the book later. Anyway, jump cut. One of the many tools of the plot. The plot? Yes, that, that's what I need to know. Master Owen, will you teach me the ways of the plot? Of course. Help you, I can. <laughs> but it will take months of training. Long, grueling hours spent in the swamp, hauling me around, eating lousy porridge, giving me a sponge bath whenever uh, I... I only have a few minutes. Oh. Well, in that case, take this. Alex Proyasak, a lifetime of training in a single syringe. Is it safe? I certainly hope so. You're probably wondering why I keep appearing in your thoughts. It is because I've inserted myself in them. I am here to teach you about the plot. A character's strength flows from the plot. But beware the dark side. Protectionism, stifling creativity, selling out. These lead to the dark side. Darth Snob was seduced by the power of the dark side of the plot. He thought infamy would make his work live forever. But he forgot something very important. What's that? Bad art is a distraction. Great art changes people. But how can we change people when there's so much crap? Patience. For every two dozen phantom menaces, there is a return of the king. For every two-bit Shyamalan, a Stanley Kubrick is born. 
For every poor soul who groans during an Adam Sandler funded Rob Schneider vehicle, there's a child crying life affirming tears when Bambi's mom is shot. Somewhere out there, a film student is finding out what Rosebud means for the first time. A man is pausing as Fredos is a Hail Mary on a boat over Lake Tahoe. A woman grasps her heart as Bogey's love flies off in the foggy night. All it takes is one moment to change a person, and that one moment, no matter how fleeting, is worth a thousand Transformers. I think I understand. That's it, Luke. I know you can beat them, but you must stay true. Remember, the plot can be what you make of it. It's me. I know. I'm glad we had this talk. I'm glad you did too. Can you imagine if you ever did date her? <sighs> yeah, in what parallel universe would that happen? The executor has made a critical error, and the time for our attack has come. Based on our information, we know he has constructed a space station, a death bomb designed to destroy the critics and to seize control of the plot hole orbiting Jupiter. It is located near the hole. It is relatively unguarded, except for this ginormous armada of heavily armed ships. We believe that a stealthy assault will cripple the fleet and expose the death bomb to our attacks. But most importantly, we have learned that the executor himself is personally overseeing the final stages of its construction. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. What the hell's a Bothan? Nobody knows. They're all dead. All right, well, what's the plan then? For that, we go to God, Emperor, Most High, Major Captain, Lord Thalus. We have really got to stop letting him promote himself. Using the information provided by Film Brain <clears throat> and the Bothans, We'll use a special attack force led by Mars Girl. Now this attack force will sneak aboard Zod's ship and disable the armada from the main control room. But to do this, we'll need a distraction. Any volunteers? I'll do it. Really? Yeah, dealing with that made me realize why I get stuck with a man when I could stick it to the man. Count me in. Me too. Oh, hey, Owen Citizen, you want to go on a violent sneak attack with us? Sure. I could milk this cameo for a few more scenes. Excellent. Phelis, since you're leading the space attack, I guess that means you're promoted to... Jesus. Are you capable? Capable? This is the greatest day of my red shirt life! <laughs> Think you can handle it? Yeah. Great. Wait a second, we didn't give the critic a chance to offer his contribution. contribution I'll give swiftly, once I think of it, in the confines of my triple protected bunker. I sensed you'd say that. Well then let's do this for the Bothans! For the Bothans! When he said, Big Hollywood Coke Party, I'm not exactly sure this is what I had in mind. 
Come on, guys, it's a party! Don't you guys know how to act at a party? Was that what you're calling this? I've seen Amma's funerals more exciting. Oh, come on, we have music, we have dance. Music? Look at this place! It's like a rave run by the Mormon Tabernacle Choir! Oh, please, I've planted Krypton's on through many a wicked kager! Do you have any kagers here? No drinking while on duty. Oh. Come on, you guys, perk up! I'll go get apples to apples. Well, you enjoy the festivities. I'm off to scour the lonely recesses of deep space for more D-list internet critics. Take us with you! Take us no. with you! Stay here and party! Oh. Sir, we're within range, two sectors away. Can they track us? Not yet, sir. Good. Prepare the OA team for beaming. Critic, I hate to interrupt your bunker time, but the real heroes are ready. Critic? Critic, where are you going? You know where I'm going. You can't just leave us now. We need you. I need you. You're like a hero to me. Oh, come on, Film Brain. I'm no hero. Yes, you are. You're the best critic there is. Now, I'm not even a good critic. All I do is yell and scream at things I don't like. What kind of critic does that? You gave us a voice, a place to call our own. And how many Matisse will it take? How many crappy laws were invented because of my bullshit? Cinema Snob was right. Nothing lasts forever. What are you going to do when the bottom falls out of this bullshit? That's for us to decide. Well, I've made my choice. And what if it's the wrong choice? <sighs> something is out there, Film Brain. Something is calling me. Maybe it's nothing, but maybe it's something. Maybe it's something where I can be useful. Maybe it's something where I can make a difference. Maybe it's something where I can actually do something meaningful and not just hurt people. Whatever it is, it has the answers I'm looking for. It has the truth. What if the truth will haunt your dreams for all time? Did you really just quote Orlando Jones from the time machine? <laughs> no, I was quoting the trailer. No one saw that piece of crap. My point exactly. Nobody needs me. Critic, if you go in that thing, you may never return. <sighs> return was never an option. Goodbye. Forgot that leads to space. You're looking chipper. Listen, can you watch Engine Room for me? Uh, much like James Kirk and Spacey, I've got something big, burly, and revolting I need to uh, exile. If you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs>